Hi guys, Rob 46 here. Welcome yourselves back to MotoGP 19 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode. Round 6 is Magello. And uh, because people don't like me winning, I'm going to be starting in 12th place for the next couple of races to see how I get on with that. So yeah, I've done FP3. I was quickest, but I didn't set a time in FP uh, in Q2. So starting in 12th place, medium front, medium rear for this race. Alright, let's see how we go. Yeah, I had a few comments in the last video of people don't like seeing me winning, so... See how we get on with this, and then maybe go right from the back. Right, Magello. 12th place. Trouble is, I know that the AI are really, really crap into turn one off the start. So, uh, yeah, this um, might be able to make up quite a few places, making up some already. On the brakes, oh, gone in a little bit hot anyway. So, well, we seventh place at the moment. Oh, almost got my nose wiped from Marquez there. get past him yes I can oh almost sandwiched that had to back out of that one otherwise that probably would have ended up quite badly for me that was a better exit than Marquez that was me up to sixth place just behind one of my teammates Danilo Petrucci the winner of Mugello in 2019 his first MotoGP win gotta try and find a way past him Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's in too hot. That's me wide. That's... Oh, Petrucci went wide as well. He followed me. I thought he was going to come back through, but he went wide as well. So, currently in fifth. Probably going to finish lap one in fifth place, but that's not bad. Coming from 12th. Like I said, I'll start in 12th on, in the next race as well. But then I'm going to have to change my free practice sessions around Ooh. nearly got cropped low maybe I'll get him on the straight yeah I'm going to get him before the line so I'm going to finish lap 1 in 4th place right that's lap 1 done and pass Rossi as well have I got it stopped bit wide oh we tried coming through so third place that's a podium position right now Vinales is in second and Davizioso is leading at the moment a bit of a gap to Dovi so it's going to take a little while to catch up to him Right, got to find a way past Vinales. Probably on the start finish straight if I don't get him before that. That's a good thing about the Ducati. Can just wait, bide my time, wait for that straight and then just blast past him. Yeah, I'm not able to get past Vinales yet if I can get a good exit out of the S's yeah that was okay oh no not quite alright it's going to be on the start finish straight again then. All the while, Davizioso is pulling away. Don't even have to use slipstream pass. We go into second. 145.9. 145.9 for me. Just a fraction quicker than Dovi on that lap. Oh. Lucky there that it didn't get taken out by Vinales. So a bit of a gap to try and get across to catch up to Dovi. 
So we're going to have to push for the next few laps. 1.7 seconds. That's quite a big gap to try and uh, get across. But I will try. Same bike, so there's not going to be any huge advantage or anything down the straight. That gap looks like it's come down. Uh, no, it's gone up, in fact. So it's 1.8, so the gap is going up. So not catching Dovi at the moment. I'm hoping maybe the tyres are going to come into it. I didn't actually... Well, I didn't actually remember what tyres he's on. I got medium front, medium rear. They seem to be working well at the moment. Through the S's. 1.7, so it's come down a tenth of a second. So if it's 1.7 across the line, then I haven't really gained or lost any time on this lap. We've pretty much done identical lap times. See what happens across the line. So it was 1.7. What is it going to be across the line? 1.5. So one and a half seconds. So we have gained two tenths of a second on that lap. Gonna have to try and pick up a bit more pace if I can. That gap just looks like it hasn't moved. 1.6. So it's kind of fluctuating. But over the course of the last lap, I did close in 0.2 of a second. Need to close in a bit quicker though, otherwise I may run out of time. One and a half seconds again. It looks a little bit closer now. What's the next split going to say? 1.3 would be good. It is 1.3. Nice. Okay. Well, hopefully it will be that or a little bit less when we go across the line. That's me very wide. Nearly off track. It's all right. Turn that corner into a V. Fastest lap of the race, 145.5. The gap is 1.1. The gap is coming down. It's going the right way, which is good. I may just be able to do this, but at the same time, I could quite easily leave it a little bit too late. One second. Once it gets below a second, the gap should come down relatively quickly. You can see visibly he is closer. Right, come on. Okay, through Arabiata 1 and Arabiata 2. Yeah, look at that, less than a second. I'll be able to slipstream him down the straight, not on this lap. But one opportunity for passing. The good news is that that gap is coming down. The second exactly. It's gone up a fraction, but not by much. Let's go. Is it going to be across the line? Probably about the same, I would say. Oh, 0.7, three quarters of a second. 
I need to get him sooner rather than later running out of laps Eight. Tires are still fine, still got plenty of grip in the rear. Oh, we went in a little bit too hot there through uh, Casanova. He didn't really lose a lot of time doing that though. Gaps coming down. Point six. I got a horrible feeling I might just miss out on this one. So close to him. Yeah, that was a good good line through the S's. Need to get a better exit and then slipstream if I can. Right, picking up slipstream onto lap seven. Oh, can I get him on the brakes? Going for it. I'm past. Have I got it stopped? Not quite. I think he went in wide as well. So I'm into the lead into the lead on the penultimate lap and already starting to gap him 1.1 already really wow okay it took me a little while to get here didn't take me too long to get into a podium position So I'll do same again at Catalonia, uh, starting in 12th place. And then if we get another good result there, then I'll start at the back of the grid. It's too hot into that. Okay, nearly the end of the race. Rear just starting to move around a little bit now. The second is the gap, so the gap's actually come down a little bit to Dolby behind. Okay, on to the start finish straight. Final lap time. Still just over a second the gap. So yeah, had to work for this one. But ultimately it is looking like another win on the Ducati. Although it looks like Davizioso is closing back in. That gap looks less than a second to me. My rear is starting to let go again. Gap is less than a second, only just. Are we going to see a late charge from Davizioso? Or can I hold on? I'm hoping I'm going to hold on. Yeah, the gap's coming down. It's come down a couple of tenths. I think we've we've got enough of a, of a gap. I think we've got enough. Right, through the S's for the final time. Gaps over a second again. Into the final corner. 
And then just the long run to the line. There we go. So, started in 12th place, still managed to come through to win the race. There we go. Job done. Beat all of our rivals. Before we go to see the party at the podium, let's take a look at the MotoGP class final results. It's good though, I enjoyed that. Starting in 12th and working my way through. All the championships are looking good. This rider has been able to impose a frantic pace on today's race. And now he and his mechanics are rightly going to party. So yeah, Catalonia is next. Another track that I really enjoy. One of my favourites. As well as obviously Mugello. All good. These days the podium is extremely valuable. MotoGP has never had so many competitive riders at the same time. Today they were at their best and they deserve to celebrate. The level of the championship is only getting better. Consistent results seem to be the secret to a good season. Okay. Another 25 points for me. Extending the lead even further in the championship. Okay, so round seven, Catalonia. Let's hope for another good race. More of the same. I'll do FP3 and then not qualify. Here we are live from the Motor GP so starting, starting in 12th. Uh, track temperature race. 44. I think I'll go medium front, medium rear again. Alright, let's do this. Ooh. A lot of them gone for hard rears. Rins went for the same as me, medium front, medium rear. That they will have to give 100% from the very beginning. But this is another track where the AI break pretty early for uh, turn one off the uh, off the grid. I think the, the only track I definitely need to qualify at will be Bruno. That's definitely going to be a track I need to qualify. Here we go. Oh, okay. Second place. Not bad. That was good. Managed to get through without hitting anyone. So it's nice and clean. So Marquez is leading. I am in second. And we're on the first lap. So I've made up 11, uh, 10 places already. Eleven places already. Can't even count. Right. Oh, that's me and a little bit too wide. Just a little bit. Is there going to be an obvious place around here where I'm going to be quicker than Marquez, or is it going to be pretty even? I think usually around here, the Ducatis usually go well in this game. No motor GP18, it was always Davizioso who was like quickest around here. Right, come on. On to the start finish. Will I reel him in here? Fairly long straight, not as long as Magello. Breaks. So I closed in a little bit, but not enough to get by. So point four at the moment. I need to try and find a way past if I can, but just got to get on the back of him at the moment. I can't see any obvious place where I'm quicker. It's 
seem pretty even at the moment. I may have a slight advantage top speed wise. But other than that, I think we're alright. Closing on the brakes there into turn 10. So it seemed to be a little bit better on the brakes. I mean, if I'm this close coming out of the final corner, I should be able to get them down the straight. But he has pulled out a little bit. Not close enough to slip stream. So we're closing, closing on the brakes as well. Close right in on the brakes. He seems to be able to get slightly better exits out of the corners, especially out of turn one. This is an intriguing race at the moment. Honda accelerates well. Definitely gets a better run through those S's. This is where the Ducati starts to uh, pick up a bit of time and on the brakes as well. I need to be a bit closer coming through the final corner because he, he pulls away through this corner as well. Okay, we should start closing in again, but I won't get him by the line. Well, probably won't get him into turn one anyway. So again, just closing in a little bit on the brakes. Can't, still can't see any obvious place. And the, the thing is, he's on a hard rear tyre. So if my medium rear goes off, then he's obviously going to be laughing because he's going to have more grip. But he's not really got any advantage at the moment. Pretty close to him at the moment. Come on. Get the run through here. He gets the initial initial acceleration out the corners. Oh Almost went into the back of him there. But close to him. Need to try and stay as close to him as possible. Coming out of this corner. And through turn 13 as well. Closer than I have been. Maybe I might be able to get him down the straight this time. Come on. Closing, 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 slipstream, here we go. On the brakes, I'm through into the lead, have I got it stopped? Yes, so there we go, lap. And we are in the lead. Oh, that's a little bit wide there. And he's trying to get through on the inside. But that's not going to work. Oh, he's through now. Try and get the exit. No. Come on, come on. Oh, no, that's it. That's not a good exit. That's not a good exit. That's too hot into there as well. That's going to give him a bit of time. It is. 
so we've got a bit of a gap to try and close in now. It's a little bit annoying, done all that work and then made a mistake after he come through and gave him a bit of an advantage. I should still extend my championship lead if I finish in second though. He is starting to pull away again. Okay. More Bedelli's in third. Dovi fourth. Am I going to run out of laps? Three laps remaining, including this one. Can I close in not doing that? I won't. Starting to push a bit more now just to try and close that gap back down. That is starting to overwork the rear tyre. Oh, that's too hot into there. Just a little bit. Still nowhere near close enough. Nowhere near where I need to be. Oh, yep, just about got it stopped. I thought I was going in there a little bit too hot. Crutch low up to fifth. Okay, I think we may be able to get back with him. We're going to have two laps remaining. Through the final corner. Should close in down the straight. Close in on the brakes into turn one. So we're on lap seven now. Penultimate lap of the race. Close in on the brakes. Right, if we don't get past this lap, it means we've got to do it on the final lap. I need to try and have a go into turn one on the next lap, if I can. That is the plan, if I don't get in this lap. Turn one on the final lap, and then just try and pull away. But I need to stay as close to him as possible, especially through the final sector. If I want to get him down the straight. Right, come on. Right, try and get with him. Try and get with him. Come on. Closing. 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 On the brakes. Closing on the brakes as well. Yeah, that was good. That was good. We're with him. Is my plan going to come into effect? Is it going to work? That wasn't so good through turn 13. It's got a bit of a gap. Try and get the run through the final corner. Right, here we go should be able to pick up a little bit of slipstream and then close in oh this might this might work this might work this might work not quite close enough I needed to be a little bit further ahead I needed to be a little bit closer to make that work so this is the final lap trouble is I can't wait to the final corner because I won't get him coming out that Honda accelerates slightly better So I need to get him as and when I can. Oh, I'm set with the bike there. This is going to be a tight one. I honestly don't know where I'm going to be able to do it. He's just got that little bit of a gap now. 
I was going to say if I was a little bit closer, maybe into the next corner. But that's a bit of a, a dodgy place to overtake as well. Very, very tight hairpin. Oh, didn't want to go on that kerb. That didn't help. I think that might be it. I don't think there's anywhere I'm going to be able to get him. I think it's going to be a second place. Ooh. Nah, I'm not going to get him at the final corner. Well, gave it a good go, but it's going to be a second place here at Catalonia. It was a good race though, another good race. Soon, so two races where I've started from 12th and I finished first and second. The next race I will start back at the grid and see how we get on. Yeah, extended my lead in the championship. Marquez has moved up to third. All three, all three championships looking good. Even though he didn't manage to win the race today, he still put on a great show. The yeah, second the place is still good. Is definitely deserved. My teammate Davizioso out in third as well. Here comes Marquez, who's absolutely over the moon. The Honda mechanics cheering at the podium are triumphant, and who can blame them? It was a fantastic race. Yeah, just left it a little bit too late in the end. But it's fine. It is fine. We extended our lead in the championship. Okay, so the next round will be Assen, and I will start from back of the grid there. Right. Red Bull Rookies Cup. Yuki Kuni is leading that from Noguchi in second, Salvador third, Carlos Tate fourth, and Dupas Squire in fifth place. Moto three, Aaron Cannett is leading that from Antonelli in second, Dalla Porter in third, Joan Messia fourth, and John McPhee in fifth. Moto two is Alex Marquez leading that from Baldessari in second, Luti third, uh, Marcel Schotter in fourth, and Jorge Navarro has moved up to fifth place. And then MotoGP, I'm leading that at the moment from my teammate Davizioso in second, Marquez third, Alex Rins fourth, and Jack Miller in fifth. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.